Karibuni tena katika kipindi kingine tena cha ubalozi ni leo. Leo tutakuwa tunaongelea mchakato mzima wa kupata kuomba kazi au kuomba ajira katika ubalozi wa Marekani. Kabla tujiza kipindi chetu, uh, leo tutakuwa na maafisa wawili, maafisa rasilimali watu hapo balozini, Donna na Mike, wataongelea mchakato mzima na kujibu maswali yenu. Kwa hiyo tafadhali kama una maswali, ya andika kwenye comment section ya uh, apa Facebook au Twitter, tutayaona, tutayasoma hapa na kujibu uh, pale tutakapo uh, pata maswali yenu. Um, kwa kama tujenele na kipindi tupate kwanza ujumbe mfupi kutoka wa marafiki zetu uh, wa upande wa Kinshasa kutoka ubalozo wa, wa Kongo wa Marekani samanini sana ubalozo wa Marekani mjini Kinshasa msiende popote Karibuni tena. Um, kama nilivyosema hapo mwanzoni, uh, tu leo tunaongelea mchakato mzima wa kuomba kazi ubalozi wa Marekani. Um, tuko na Donna na Mike. Karibuni sana. Hi. Welcome. Um, so, to begin, Mike, um, watu wanapata api hizi fursa uh, za kuona ubalozini wanaajiri au nini kinaendelea ubalozini kwenye upande wa ajira? Okay, so um huwa kama kutakuwa kuna vacancy au kuna nafasi ya kazi ubalozi huwa tunatoa matangazo yetu katika platform nyingi mbalimbali hii tunafanya hivi ili kuweza kupata audience kubwa zaidi naweza kupata na tuweze kupata watu wengi zaidi fursa ya kuweza ku apply na kuleta maombi yao kwa ajili ya kuanza kazi hapo ubalozini mm. kwa hiyo uh, tunatumia platform mbalimbali kwanza tuna magazeti tunatumia um, gazeti ya The Guardian na Daily News ambapo mm-hmm. tunatangaza kazi zetu hapo mm-hmm. pia tunatumia um, social media pages zetu mm-hmm. za Facebook na Twitter mm-hmm. and uh, hivi karibuni tunaanzisha uh, LinkedIn page mm-hmm. ambayo nayo tutakuwa tunatumia kutangaza kazi zetu mm-hmm. lakini mwisho wa siku hizi kazi zetu zote mm-hmm. zitatudirect katika website yetu mm-hmm. ambayo itakuwa ndo Um, tuseme kama njia kwa website ya ubalozi wa Marekani website ya ubalozi wa Marekani okay. mm-hmm. kuna tab ya jobs at the embassy ambayo ukiboneza hapo ndo utaweza kuona kazi zote ambazo ziko wazi kwa muda huo mm-hmm. na mtu anaweza ku okay. sasa katika website pia kuna kazi za aina mbili kuna kazi za ubalozini na kazi za US aid okay. yeah. so uh, kulingana na we unataka kazi ipi kama ni upande wa balozi au upande wa US aid mm-hmm. una click tab tab moja wapo mm-hmm. itakupeleka kazi zilipo ndipo utaweza ku apply. Mm-hmm. Sasa katika kazi ya ubalozini mm-hmm. uh, na mwenzangu Dona ataelezea zaidi mm-hmm. huwa tunatumia hii kitu mpya ni application inaitwa ERA. Mm-hmm. Kwa ukifungua US Embassy Jobs at in kazi za ubalozini mm-hmm. kuna link ambayo itakudirect huko au itakupeleka huko katika huo ukurasa mm-hmm. na utaweza um, ku apply um, kwa ajili ya kazi ambayo kutuma maombi yako, eh, kutuma maombi yako ya kazi mm-hmm. unayotaka. Mm-hmm. Yeah, asante. Okay. Um, so kwa ile ni pawote wawili naweza mkajibu. Je, nitajoje kama mimi nina nina uwezo wa kufanya kazi Marekani, uh, wa Marekani au upande wa US aid. Um, mm. so what how do I know that I'm qualified to work in um, both the like embassy or US aid? I go first. <laughs> okay, so sure. okay, so um swala so qualifications au kwa Kiswahili vigezo nitaleka hivi. Tunasihi sana watu kwanza kazi kitangazwa wasome um, kazi inahitaji mtu wa namna gani. Huwa tunatangaza kazi za haina mbili. Mm-hmm. Aina ya kwanza unakuta kazi imeandikwa for example I'll say plumber. Mm-hmm. Imeandikwa labda plumber afu kwenye mabano ikaandikwa all interested candidates. Hii ni kazi kwa ajili ya kila mtu ambaye yuko eligible au anastahiki ya kufanya kazi nchini Tanzania. Inamaanisha Mtanzania mm-hmm. as in mtu ambaye ni raia wa Tanzania mm-hmm. au ana work permit hati ya kufanya kazi Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Alafu kuna aina ya, ya pili ya kazi ambayo tunaandika kwa mfano administrative assistant mm-hmm. afu kuna mabano tunaandika US citizen eligible family members only. Mm-hmm. Sasa hii hii kazi ni kwa ajili ya maafisa wetu wa Kimarekani mm-hmm. familia zao as in familia za maafisa wetu wanaotoka Marekani mm-hmm. hizi kazi ni specifically kwa ajili yao mm-hmm. kwa hiyo kama mtanzania au laba mtu wa Kenya au tuseme uh, any other nationality ambayo mm-hmm. sio Marekani 
na sio mwanafamilia wa maafisa wetu hapa mm-hmm. katika ubalozi ukiapply unakuwa automatically disqualified mm-hmm. yeah unakuwa huja huja meet kigezo um, lakini haujafikia uja, uja, hiko mm-hmm. kigezo ambacho tunakitafuta ambacho mm-hmm. ni kuwa um, US citizen as in raia wa Marekani na mwanafamilia wa maafisa wetu wa Kimarekani hapa kwenye balozi Donna, do you have anything to add on to that? Yeah, uh, as my colleague said that um, uh, the who may apply, which is a very important uh, factor for the shortlisting as well for us. Mm-hmm. So for who may apply, we have EFMs only, and then we have uh, um, open to all candidates. So by so EFM, you mean eligible family, family members. members. Okay. Yeah. So and then we have open to all candidates, which is anybody or anywhere who is Tanzanian or a Tanzanian citizen can apply f- to that position. And the other factor we have is eligibility, which is the education and uh, the number of years of experience. So if the position requires bachelors in, um, maybe in must, um, uh, sorry, in business, so you must have bachelors in business. Yeah, but if you have higher, that is fine, but you cannot have diploma and then you cannot be, uh, what do you say, um, you cannot be eligible to work for that position. Mm. And then again, a uh, number of years, again, if the requirement is three years, if you have two years, again, you'll not be eligible for the position. So you have, you must have three years or above okay. to be uh, eligible for this position. Mm-hmm. So these are the two main factors, how we, that's the HR recruitment policy mm. how, for us to recruit, uh, for us to shortlist. Okay. So yeah. um, mainly is to look at the criteria, job criteria job very criteria. carefully yeah. mm-hmm. before you start exactly. your application. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, Mike Apomanzoni Alimzungumzia Era System, yeah. um, and this is, I believe, it's a new platform for everybody yeah. seeking a job at the U.S. Embassy. Yes. So Donna, how does the system work? Okay. So this is the new system, which is Era. Era stands for uh, Electronic Recruitment Application. Okay. We ourselves are new to this application, a year old. We started last year in June. Mm-hmm. So this, is, this helps us both as a recruiter as well and for applicants uh, as well to apply mm-hmm. easily. So the, one, the most best factor about this application is you just create your profile once. Mm-hmm. And whenever there's opportunity to work with the U.S. Embassy, you just only have to change the title you're applying to. Okay. And then you can have, or in case in the period, if you have gained any other additional credential, you can upload that. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, you just create your profile once and just have it there saved. Mm-hmm. And uh, whenever there's opportunity to work and you just change the title you're applying to, the position title, and just hit send okay. to, the, to the, uh, uh, the link. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah. uh, would you like to add anything to that? Uh, Maybe that, <coughs> um, so for the ERA system, it's, it's specifically for U.S. Embassy jobs, mm-hmm. which are for, um, if you're going to apply for a USAID job, you, you have to um, apply through the form that you used to have before. Mm-hmm. So also, um, when she says creating a profile, as in you can also upload all your documents, be it bachelor's degree certificate, birth certificate, as a proof of citizenship, or um, a driving license, etc., and it will stay there. Kwamba hiyo iko hapo hapo. Na unaweza tu kabadilisha ba mfumo kulingana na kazi ambayo utakuwa una apply kwa muda huo. Yeah. Okay. Kwa hiyo um kwa 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 tazamaji wetu ni kwamba ukitaka kazi ubalozo Marekani mm-hmm. unatumia ERAS a platform yes. or ERAS yes, a must yeah, you a must m- apply through ERAS lazima yeah. apply kwa hiyo nikileta maombi yangu kwa bahasha au kwa no, email haikubaliwi yeah, lazima ende ERAS lakini kwa upande yeah. wa USAID yeah. or USAID mm-hmm. lazima huko ni kuna mfumo mwingine wa ku yes. kutuma maombi mm-hmm. hauingiliani yeah. na huo ERA yeah. yeah. kwa hiyo mtu ambaye amejiregister kwenye ERA mm-hmm. au amejisajili kwenye ERA system mm-hmm. akiona kazi ya USAID lazima afate USAID uh, uh, instructions yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. how to apply instructions yeah. 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 okay um, na ndo maana pia kama naweza nikaongeza yeah, tume yeah. <coughs> tumeweza ku separate ukifungua jobs at the embassy mm-hmm. kuna tabs mbili okay. kuna US embassy jobs mm-hmm. ambazo ukiclick hiyo link mm-hmm. itakupeleka kwenye kurasa yenye um, maelekezo mm-hmm. ya jinsi ya ku apply kwa kazi za US embassy mm-hmm. ila ukienda kwenye USA jobs nayo mm-hmm. it's a different link mm-hmm. itakupeleka katika hiyo ukurasa ambayo inakuambia jinsi ya ku apply kwa mm-hmm. kazi za USA okay. yeah. okay. so unajua technology au tuseme teknolojia yeah. ina yeah. kuna saa nyingine inakuwa na changamoto zake si ndio hasa let's say mimi niko nafanya pale uh, maombi yangu kupitia mm-hmm. era mm-hmm. ghafla 
uh, labda error system ikawa haifanyi kazi mm-hmm. au ika unajua teknolojia kuna mambo mengi yanaweza katokea je yeah. yeah, sinasemaliza maombi yangu hapo yeah. system ipo ilipogomea yeah. au ilipoacha kufanya kazi mm-hmm. je yeah, nitapewa muda zaidi wa kumalizia uh, maombi yangu baadaye system ikisha, ikisha rudi au kama tuseme kama uh, deadline ndio ilikuwa saa sita usiku ikishapita saa sita ndo basi tena sitapata tena fursa ya kufanya ya kutuma maombi yangu Okay so what happens is if we have the maintenance which we are told there's mm-hmm. a error maintenance mm-hmm. then we extend the deadline okay mm-hmm. yeah so that we give time to applicants to apply okay. but sometimes it just happens because it's technology yes. then uh, they can always get back to us uh-huh. and say that they tried uh-huh. but then it should be a genuine reason sometimes because to start with error works best with chrome okay Good. yeah they must open error in chrome and if it says when they open the error page the instructions it says it works best with chrome sometimes uh-huh. you know if you open an internet explorer it does not work really well okay so y- they should s- uh, try with that but in case if they have any issues with like uh, password reset mm-hmm. or temporary locked out that is on the applicant side where they may have tried lot many times okay. and then they ha- the system has locked them out okay. and for that in that case they need to give time mm-hmm. to the um, to error system maybe an hour or so they should mm-hmm. retry it after that it should work out if not then maybe they have to reset their password mm-hmm. okay and then even if after password they cannot work really well mm-hmm. and then uh, i think it should um, they they can contact us mm-hmm. or what they can do is they have to re- create another account with different email mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah so that's how it works otherwise if it's really getting near to the uh, deadline mm-hmm. and they still can't manage they can contact us there's always a number to contact number yeah. and then maybe in that like you know in that case we can ask them to send us via email okay yeah kwa tazamaji wetu hii system ya error kama alivyosema dana inafanya kazi kwa ura, kwa uzuri zaidi au rahisi zaidi ukiona tumia chrome google chrome like uh, ndo itakuwa ina, ina, inaendana zaidi na hii system ya error kwa hiyo kama hauna hiyo uh, platform inabidi utafute we download na uweze kutuma maombi yako um tupate mapumziko mafupi uh, tukirudi tutazungumzia tena zaidi kuhusu mchakato mzima wa kuomba kazi au kupata ajira katika ubalozi wa Marekani usiende kokote No more paper, no more bulky emails bloated with megabytes. Now it's so simple, you can do it from your laptop, tablet or smartphone. So how does it work? We present you the electronic recruitment application or ERA. Go to the US Embassy website, click on Jobs at the Embassy to view the list of open job vacancies. Before applying for one of the jobs available, you will need to log into your account. If this is your first time applying for a job through ERA, you'll need to create a login. In the account creation page, enter all of the required information and then click Next at the bottom left. You will notice that your account has been created. So click done at the bottom right. After logging into your account, click on the job you would like to apply for and get to the vacancy details page where you can see the basic requirements for the job. Then click on apply to this vacancy. You will notice different steps of questions that you will have to answer. And if you're not ready yet to submit, You can save all of your answers and come back later before the application deadline listed on the job vacancy announcement. If there is an error or one of your questions is incomplete, the system will alert you to respond or make a correction. Note that items marked with an asterisk require a response or the system will not let you continue to the next page. In order to attach documents, they will have to be in PDF format. The step application review and submit provides a final opportunity to edit information before submitting. You must certify the declaration by ticking the box. Looking forward to seeing your job application. Karibuni tena kama ndo unajiunga nasi leo tunazungumzia mchakato mzima wa kuomba kazi ubalozi wa Marekani. Um, 
hapo mwanzo niwatambulisha dona na Mike maafisa rasilimali wetu ambao wato, wako hapa kujibu maswali yenu na kusikiliza yale ambayo mnayo, mna, mnayo ya kuwauliza. Um, tuangalie uh, watazamaji wetu wana maswali gani. Uh, dona na Mike, I will ask you guys to uh, answer these questions if you, sure. whenever you can. Yeah. Um, I will read them out and then proceed. Hmm. Sasa uh, tukio tuki tunasubiri um, kusikiliza maoni ya watazamaji wetu. Um, Donna, what is it like to work at the embassy? Oh, to be honest, it's really great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from my personal experience, I'm really enjoying working here. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to achieve here. Yeah, on a personal and professional uh, experience both ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have great career advancement here and the way the professionalism here and then the policies and procedures we follow here, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. And then plus, obviously, we have really fancy benefits here <laughs> to keep us working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anything to add? Like yeah, because uh, I yeah, uh, sorry, I would say there's like growth, care, and learning. So yeah, at w in one place, so yeah, it's okay. like it's pretty rare. But then yeah, yeah, I'm glad I have it. Yeah. <laughs> also on a personal level, as an economist, up here, um, how we meet all these people with different cultures, uh -huh. like yeah. different backgrounds. Ni ni vizuri pia makuna difunza the stories da watu, tamaduni wa watu, unajua inasaidia pia ata kama mtu unajifunza ku, unajifunza kuishi na watu wa aina tofauti mm -hmm. ina it builds some sort of tolerance mm -hmm. with other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and how you could live in harmony even if maybe you have to go somewhere else or something like that mm -hmm. yeah. yeah also it's really it's it's really um nice it's yeah. really yeah, yeah. so um so don't know some their policies and all this what mm -hmm. about eh kuna kwa kuna mambo gani huwa yanaendelea kwenye upande wa Oh, tuangalie kwenye uh, oh. sorry, comment section Z2. Mmepata mm -hmm. comment kutoka Edward Alois Jeremiah. Hi Edward. Uh, Edward Alois from Gator Tanzania in I need the website yenu ili niweze kufanya maombi. Hi Edward, asante sana kwa kujiunga nasi. Um Mike nomba tu utujuze website yetu ya ma, kutuma maombi au kuanza ma nani? Okay, so uh, njia raisi kuliko yote ya kupata website yetu ni ukienda kwenye Google, ukandika tu US Embassy Tanzania. Uki search, ita, the first link itayokuja, itakuwa mendukwa US Embassy, Dar es Salaam, Koma, Tanzania. Ukibonyeza yu tab, itakuweka moja kwa moja kwenye website yetu. Mm -hmm. Na ukifika kwenye website kama nivosema mwanzoni, unaenda... Um, una scroll utaona sema imeandikwa jobs at the embassy yani nafasi za kazi katika ubalozi ukiboneza hapo ndipo utaweza kuona um, kazi zetu ambazo tumeziweka okay au kwa rahisi zaidi ni tz.usembassy.gov yes um tuangalie tena tumepata maoni kutoka kwa oh maoni yako njiani bado yanakuja <laughs> um Okay, to get 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 to as to get 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 like work from stahiki ya kufanya kazi Tanzania yeah. Yeah. Um, unaweza unaweza uka, uka apply kazi na ukapata kwa tu kuna wa Marekani wa Tanzania na pia watu kutoka um, Nairobi Kenya, Kenya, Kenya mm -hmm. Philippines, Philippines. Yeah. tuna watu wa like other nationalities okay. yeah. sawa so, tuangalie um, Fakihi Litimba anasema asante naitwa Fakihi Musa Litimba na waangalia kutokea Mtwara. Je, hizo kazi zinazotolewa ni za muda au za kudumu? Fahit, fakihi asante sana kwa kujiunga nasi kutoka Mtwara. Um, Mike Dona, swali kutoka kwa Fakihi. Kazi ni za kudumu au ni za wakati au kwa mkataba? Okay, it mwenye. depends if the if the job uh, if the vacancy announcement says full time, it's mm -hmm. permanent. Mm -hmm. Even if it says part time, that means there are minimum hours like 20, min 20 hours a week mm -hmm. work schedule. But mostly our local employed staff uh, vacancy announcements or positions are full time mm -hmm. and permanent. Mm -hmm. But then we have a 10 years contract and then we offer it's renewable every year. Mm -hmm. 
depending on your successful evaluation because every employee is evaluated for the whole year mm -hmm. and in the end if you are successfully uh, you know uh, pass your evaluation then you go to the next year with the renewal of your contract mm -hmm. but then contract is valid for whole 10 years mm -hmm. it's a permanent job mm -hmm. yeah anything to add Okay. Yeah. So fakihi uh, 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 na tumejibu swali lako vizuri kama unataji ufafanuzi zaidi tafadhali rudi tena kwenye comment section zetu. Adam Msika anasema nimeuliza kuhusu nafasi za field au volunteer jobs ambazo hazitangazwi. Utaratibu ukoje US Embassy Tanzania? Ah, uh, naweza nikasema kuwa uh, ubalozi hatuna nafasi za kujitolea au za field. Uh, sisi tunatoa tu kazi kwa ajili ya watu like permanent jobs alivyosema mm -hmm. like it's most permanent jobs kwamba uki ukiajiriwa unajiriwa katika uh, sekta fulani na itakuwa kazi yako ambayo ni contract based na kuwa renewed kila mwaka ukipita evaluation yako mm -hmm. ya, ya like ukipita evaluation yako ya mwaka mmoja kwamba uka rated you are successful mm. unaweza ukaendelea mm. kwa hiyo nafasi za field a volunteer work mm. hatuna hizo mm. kwa wakati yeah, can i add on to that yeah. maybe yeah. Uh, we do not have volunteer uh, for, uh, what do you say uh, jobs for the outer community as mm. for now mm. but there are positions which require minimum of one year of experience mm. Mm. so if you can gain that you're always eligible to apply for the positions mm. So some some positions they have like just one year of experience. Okay. Mm. So if you can gain that, I think you're eligible to work with the US Embassy. Okay. And uh, if yeah. I may add, Kumba, the one year doesn't have to be actual work. It could be you be volunteering somewhere, but you have mm. done some sort of office administration or clerical right. work. Mm. All that. Ata kwa tazina tunazile field, tunafanyaga field studies. Mm. Kwa zile za miss tatu tatu, kama unazo zikafika mwaka mmoja, kwa pumefanya kazi katika an office setting, kama kazi nataka office administration na kukule kwa waka, kama zile miss mitatu, ukafanya mara nne, mm. yeah. zikafika mwaka mmoja, miezi kuminambili, unakua eligible kwa apply. So it doesn't have to be an actual job whereby you are paid, but as long as you worked, mm -hmm. technically worked yeah. in an full office time. setting, full time, then you are eligible for the one year experience. Okay. I'm um, tuangalie tena tupata swali au oh, oh Wallace Shemsanga anasema na waangalia kutoka Dar es Salaam. Hi Wallace, asante sana kwa kujiunga nasi. <laughs> um to turudi hapo kwenye uzo uzoefu wa kupata field jobs or anything sorry. Yeah. Um umesema mtu kama alikuwa na field jobs za kufanya. Oh, tuna comment nyingine tena. Uh, Mary Paulo, how we can apply? Please share website maana Hacks ni wengi now. Ah, uh, hack, anamanisha hackers. Hackers. Oh. Oh. hackers. Yes, ni wengi now. Watu ambao huwa wanasema watu hapa kazi ya ugitu kama hizo. Mm -hmm. na kazi za hapa. Um, Mary, kama ulivosema mwanzoni, Mike, juu mm -hmm. unataka kuridia tena kidogo kusu um, cha, mchakato yeah. wa kupata kazi ya kutuma so, maombi. So, so kazi zetu zote, Mary, tunazi advertise kwenye tovuti yetu, kwenye ukurasa wetu wa embassy haiwezi ikaepo sehemu nyingine yoyote na hakuna mtu kutoka balozi hata siku moja atakupigia simu atasema nitumie application yako nitakusaidia au mtu atasema nipe hela nipe hela hapana we are yeah. very fair and transparent in the in the sense that kila mtu ana haki ya kupata kazi ubalozini kama anafikia vigezo kwa hiyo application au maombi ya kila mtu yanapitia kwenye tovuti yetu ambayo itakupeleka kwenye era ambayo tovuti ni tz tz.usembassy.gov kwa hiyo ukiingiza hiyo tovuti kwenye tabi yako ukaenda just at the embassy US embassy jobs uka apply kupitia era fully and you meet the minimum requirements and you've attached everything that is required una nafasi ya kupata kazi katika ubalozi wetu um, tumepata tena swa lingine Davis Makundi anasema kwa kweli mnatumia vyema teknolojia masiliano kupitia mtandao hongarini sana asante sana Davis na shukuru kuwa mefurahia uh, maendele ya kiteknolojia tunaya tumia um, anitua kiswa hili dunia anasema asante sana na itua Esther kutoka Morogoro Tanzania ambapo napenda sana maswala ya kujitolea kwa jili ya maendeleo ya jamii Mimi pia ni mwandisho vitabu mbalimbali mbali vya kijamii 
ambapo nimejitolea kuandika vitabu hivi ili viweze kuwafikia watanzania wote kwa ujumla Swali, maswali yangu ni je naweza kupata kazi ya uandishi wa vita wa vijitabu hivi kwa ajili ya jamii katika ubalozi wa Marekani Mike Madonna swali kutoka kwa mtazamaji wetu Esther kutoka Morogoro Okay salvo so uh, Esther so asante sana kwanza kwa interest yako na unafanya kazi nzuri sana kongera um, kwa sasa hatuna nafasi hiyo lakini kama itatokea nafasi na ukaona tumeitangaza tunakusihi sana 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 uapply tume maombi utume maombi mm. <laughs> utume maombi <laughs> na uh, ikifika kwetu sisi tutafanya screening as in tutaangalia kama una vigezo stahiki vya hiyo kazi kama itakuwepo na tutakuita kwa ajili ya interview na kufanyia um, other screenings ambazo tunafanya ili kupata nafasi okay Um, tuangalie tena Adam Msika amesema thanks kwa majibu mazuri zaidi. Mike, can I have your email? Mine Adam Msika at gmail.com. <laughs> Mike, ili ni lako. <laughs> Habari Adam. Ah, <laughs> uh, kama una maswali kuhusu uh, disi ya kupata ajira au umeka, umekwama, tuna general email ambayo unaweza ukatumia iko kwenye website ukifungua jobs at the embassy imeandikwa for all queries please send your email to dar, dar, H, okay. dar as in dar eslam kifupi dar hro at state.gov ukituma hapo maswali yako kuhusu um, this ya kupata kazi utajibiwa okay yeah. asante sana kwa maswali yenu mazuri na kwa mahojiano tule kwa nayo hapa studio um, kwa sekunde chache sana yeah. what advice would you give to new applicants Okay, so quickly quickly I would say um, kwanza kama unatuma maombi kwa kule ubalozi tunaomba sana 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 tunawasihi tuna sana mzikatie sheria zilizopo kwenye era. Mm-hmm. Era it's a system inasaidia sisi kujua nani ana vigezo. Kwa hiyo jaribu kujibu maswali yote pia waga tunaomba um, attachments watu weke attachments mbalimbali kama vieti vya kuzaliwa ili kujua kama kweli ni raia wa Tanzania au degree au kama kazi ya dereva aeke leseni ya dereva na vitu kama hivyo mm-hmm. tuna si sana mu attach hivyo vitu maana bila wewe kuweka mimi siwezi kujua kama umefikia kigezo hicho mm-hmm. hata kama ukijibu yes i have a university degree in business administration mm-hmm. kama hauto attach cheti mimi siwezi nikajua kwa hiyo nitakudisqualify kwa bahati mbaya kwa sana 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 muweze ku apply fully full applications zinatusaidia zinanisaidia hata mimi kazi yangu ya rais kukusaidia wewe kupata kazi na pia tunasema tunawasihi sana mwe wa kweli katika application zenu maana unachojibu katika application yako kwenye system kinakuwa verified au kitahakikiwa kwenye chumba cha interview na pia kitahakikiwa wakati wa kufanya security investigation kabla hujaanza kazi ubalozini. Mashukuru. If you have anything to add. Thank you. Um, Any last just, words? Just say it's very important to follow the instructions how to apply on era which is very important and obviously like my colleague said here we have to we this is one of the requirement if the documents are mentioned there you must upload those documents. Those are very important for us because we need to verify your education and your uh, proof of citizen which is the requirement for you to shortlist to the uh, for the next further processing for the uh, in, in the in this uh, we can say no sign. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Donna and Mike thank you so much. Thank you. Been a wonderful session. Yeah. Um kwa tazamaji wetu asanteni sana kwa kuwa nasi siku hii ya leo. Msikose kujiunga nasi na wiki ijayo ambayo tutakuwa tunaongelea mambo moto moto zaidi kuanzia saa sita na nusu mchana hadi saa saba kamili Jumanne. Kila Jumanne kuanzia saa sita na nusu hadi saa saba kamili mchana. Asanteni sana uh, na tutaonana wiki ijayo.